there's a lot of steam at Fisher 10 because of the rain. These cracks are still hot. So when there's rain, there's going to be lots of steam. We are close to Fisher 10. We're basically right at Fisher 10. It's just steam. There's really no SO2 smell. And I wanted to show you some of the new grass. This grass is growing despite being next to a lava fissure. And it's really steamy around here. And we've got plenty of this Teflon on the ground and if you watch my videos of late, this is a very familiar sound. This is like a cinder fiberglass kind of rock splatter from the lava. And we are looking at Fisher 10. Wow, it's really steamy around here like the steam vents. Not a whole lot of SO2 right now, but there's lots of steam. You can see all the steam. Wow. I'm just surrounded by it. Crunch, crunch, Rice Krispies, crunch. Here's a sulfur deposit. And here is the tail end of Fisher 10. It's amazingly just how it's just steamy, so steamy around here. And this crack is cooled down a lot from last time I was here, which is a few days ago, or well, maybe a week ago. Uh, four days, five days, something like that. And you can see that the grass is all dying except for a little bit. See, some of it's coming back. It's really cool. So the grass has died because of acid rain and SO2 volcanic gases. So again, that right there is the tail end of Fisher 10. And it goes about 600 feet in that direction will be the other end of Fisher 10. Here's some hurricane damage from Hurricane Lane. I see a tree that has fallen. Now these trees were already dead from Rapid Ohia death. And one of them fell. It's not too bad. I know if they don't have their canopy, it's easier for them to stay up and not be blown over. I've seen that where a healthy tree will survive, or not, excuse me, a healthy tree will be blown down during a hurricane and a dead stripped tree with no leaves will survive just because of the canopy that the live one had. So we're looking at Fisher 10, a lot of steam plenty of plant die off. And what time is it? Let's check the time. Four o'clock. Four o'clock in the afternoon. At the time of this filming, we had just had four days of constant 
rain and it was a lot of rain the town that I am living near got 10 inches of rain in six hours at one point so that's a lot of rain been getting lots of rain and flooding and luckily the lava is kind of at a pause but at the time of this filming there's actually lava in Fisher 8 and around Fisher 8 there's a little bit more lava <clears throat> from some aerial footage they were spotting some lava in Fisher 8 at the time of this filming on Sunday four o'clock in the afternoon I'll probably put this video up Monday morning but I just wanted to show lava damage and hurricane damage this crack right here has cooled down it's not nearly as hot as it was you know, five days ago last time I was here or last time I made a video not nearly as hot it's cooled down a lot so that's a good sign there's a snail poor snail oh okay well that's that's kind of hot right there Ooh, fogged up the well that's weird okay so this okay fogged up hold on a second it'll unfog itself here soon I don't want to wipe it off because I'm afraid I'll scratch it well point is one of these cracks is the hottest here and this part is pretty hot. That's actually hotter. Then this this area. It's like, it's like cool. This is fairly cool. And then it's hotter. Steamed up again, sorry about that. I'm still recording. Okay. And this part of it is hotter. Well, getting steamed out here. Sorry about that guys, it's like a steam bath. <laughs> okay, Leilani Estates. Four o'clock in the afternoon. On a Sunday. The rain has stopped. Luckily there wasn't any real wind damage, just flooding and and uh, Hilo got hit pretty hard by some flooding, but it could have been a lot worse. I think we dodged a bullet with this hurricane lane. It turned into a tropical storm and just kind of missed the Hawaii Islands, but dumped a lot of rain. And again, Fisher 8, it's got lava from the overhead view. There's some lava that was spotted. So this eruption, I mean, it's, it's never really over, right? I mean, <laughs> it's just a, a period of calming down or going somewhere else. That, all that really happens with this, you know, East Rift Zone. It's going to be active. There's going to be a lot more lava in the future. It could be months. It could be, you know, five years before it you know, starts up like it was um, at its peak. But yeah, it's steamy. And I think I'm going to wrap up this video right here showing you some of the USGS markings that got washed away. These are to measure the cracks. It looks like they got, well, you know, washed away a little bit. Not, 
not as bright as they used to be. And here's markings. It looks like this is closed up a little bit. This crack. There's definitely a new growth in that crack. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up right here. And I just want to thank everyone for their thoughts and prayers and concern. And if you want to like this video, if you like this video, let me please comment, subscribe, share this video. Uh, hit that bell symbol to get notifications so you can watch my videos. Tell me what you think and be part of the community. And I'll leave a link to my GoFundMe in the description box. And I just want to thank everyone for watching my videos and their thoughts and prayers and concerns during this hurricane and lava disaster. Wild ride. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up right here. A hooey ho.